today we're gonna talk about five things that make the world a little shittier. <laughs> no, for real though. So I found an article called Top 5 Ways Cars Have Gotten More Dangerous. And I totally want us to try and disprove their theory. Or approve it. Okay. Know. Okay. So, number five is greater weight. Apparently, if In you get hit by car. a really heavy car, you're gonna die, clearly. Well, <laughs> every thousand pounds, you get, what? what is it, 50 more times? 40, 45? Like 47 45. or some stuff. No, 45 more percent that you're gonna get killed in that car. I mean, does that make it more dangerous? Maybe pedestrians are more dangerous. Well, is it the car or is it the people that are driving it? Because think about a semi-truck, obviously you have to stop sooner, right? People driving cars now, if the car is heavier, just think you would have to stop sooner. Exactly. I mean, some people aren't logical though. Yes, that is very true. <laughs> you know, honestly, like some people, logic and some people just two different completely things. Yeah. See, you see logic, <laughs> like I just, I can't English today. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, they're saying weight has something to do that makes your car dangerous. Yeah. So now the cars are getting heavier. Yeah. Uh, as they, you know, get more safety, uh, you know, equipment safety added. safety equipment added, electronics, you know. Engine, you know. The power, is, yeah. The safety equipment that's being added is to help protect the driver. The problem is it's killing the person on the other side of the accident. So you're saving one to endanger another one higher. Uh, so That's what it is. It's literally just driving tanks around. You're protecting yes. yourself. But is this, versus somebody else's tank. But is this article on the passenger? Yes, or the, the, those are the deaths. So the deaths yeah. are, by you hitting a car, their chance of dying, wherever you hit, is 40, whatever, 7% like higher. No. Because your car is heavier. For every so, thousand pounds that yeah. extra that your car. I think they're, they're using, um, a, a Honda Accord, I think, from like the yeah, 1970s 1967 or 1967 as a reference. And they're saying that those cars back then weighed like 1,600 pounds. And today, that same car weighs about 3,400 pounds. Um, and... Yeah, you're right. I think that... So, the article ironically states that the part that's funny is, you know, it's getting more dangerous as, as it's getting more heavier but it's getting more heavier because they're adding more safety features yeah. to it. And more And that's power. the thing, well, you're, yeah. you're, you're talking about new cars hitting old cars. So, I mean, not old plastics, because those are made out of steel, but I'm talking about like old Hondas, old yeah. Hondas that are, you know, not really thought about back in the day to be yeah. made for safety. They're just made to get around. So I guess if you, if like a Chevy Cruze hits a Chevy Cruze, like... You'll be fine, they're both live. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Or, or unless your car hits and crashes into a Dodge, then you're gonna die probably for sure. Oh yeah, because you're hitting, boat. you're hitting the boat. You're yeah. hitting a boat. Yeah, you get hit by a, a Mopar, you're done. Wait, which kind of Mopar? Uh, Charger or Charger. Uh, Challenger. Oh yeah, because I guess, yeah. you know, that was our first boat show. They're scary, they're like trucks on the highway now, you know? <laughs> Speaking of that, on the way here, we were getting chased by that little freaking, what is it, what do you call them, Trailhawks? Track hogs? Track hogs, yeah. I was in the I was in the field. I don't know how to drive a stick. So I'm all putting along and I see him like come all the way back here and I'm like, I'm a little no. Perfect example of a heavy car <laughs> We would have died. Forty seven times more likely to have Well died. I don't I don't know though because with me in that car now we're now we're talking. <laughs> it evens it up a little bit. He's added substance. <laughs> it does add substance. Yeah. They don't take personal weight into consideration, they only take actual car weight. So you might be right. That's what up. I mean... You don't add horsepower, you add safety. Yes. There you go. Yes. Track hawk, track hawk hits the, a bird. Bam! Hey, it didn't go nowhere. I feel like we're just gonna bounce off of it. What? We're just gonna bounce. <laughs> we're gonna just bounce off every car that hits us. So we agree that weight is maybe a little factor into causing oh yeah more well i think it, i think it makes a car more dangerous i you know obviously weight does but make a car also, more dangerous the the speed now that the cars go and the, the how they pick up and all that stuff that's the next one higher power so number four higher power yeah well, more cars, power or heavier. higher power i think those two go one and one together because oh, i mean yeah. higher power heavier car 
part of the impact. And so let me ask you a question. Is this an article against Dodge or because <laughs> we're already on two shelves? Actually, AJ, do you know the weight of your Shelby? Uh, yeah. What I don't it? know exactly, but it's like 3,700 pounds. Mm -mm. Yeah. Shelby's, the GT350s, the new ones are over 4,000. Wrong. That is. Uh, mine weighs 3,700 pounds because uh, I have weight reduction. <laughs> See, that's what I was you know what, <laughs> you know what his weight reduction is? What? He gets out of the car. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, man. Little dings, yeah. like everybody's gonna get points and everybody yeah. just needs to like, Yeah, we should go with the points this <laughs> time. Ding, Max got one. <laughs> oh, AJ's ready to go, look at him, he's ready to go. Well, that's kind of not fair because the points that I'm gonna get are for myself. <laughs> You gonna make fun of yourself? Yeah. But the Shelby's do weigh differently because they, yeah. they have different packs. So some some Shelby's have more That's radiators true. and coolers. So it, there's a, there is a little bit of a difference there. So yeah. But how much does a how much does a Dodge uh, Challenger or Charger weigh? About 44, 4500 yeah. pounds. Yeah. Could you imagine getting hit with one of those at like no 60 miles an hour? If you'd like to reference number five on your list, there <laughs> four uh, or five five go up. I'm looking at it. Weight. And then, it, you know, but they are adding more power, so now you have more weight. Now you have a car that's 700 horsepower or, you know, 500 or 600 horsepower. Uh, you have essentially a weapon, you know? Um, and cars are a weapon, you know, all jokes aside, you know, no matter whether you're driving a little Honda Civic or, mm -hmm. you know, a Hellcat, you know, cars are weapons, but the thing is, what makes them more dangerous than other cars? And I think that's what this article's uh, referencing. So now you have more power, more weight. So uh, when these cars do get in accidents, they do cause a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Something that's heavier and going faster is gonna cause yeah. more. That totally makes sense, but it's just weird. It's just weird to like sit and actually think about like, oh yeah, cars are getting faster. I mean, you've got the Demon and the the GT500 and the ZR1, the ZL1, and yeah, they are getting faster and faster and faster. So I'm like, isn't there like a legal limit for the road of like how much horsepower there you is. can have on the street? I mean, no, there's not a legal limit for how much horsepower you can have, but there are these things called speed limits. They are quite yeah. What is that? <laughs> I mean, I follow them. I don't want to get in trouble. Yeah. I'm just kidding, CHP. <laughs> but now you have cars that can go you know, on the freeway at, you know, on the average, at least twice the legal speed, uh, limit. speed limit of the highway. So you got cars that easily can do 140 miles an hour. Now they're making cars that are capable of doing that, you know, left and right. Every day. Yeah, yeah. so, um, you know, and people are gonna push their cars to that limit and um, that's where you get these deaths on the highways. Yeah. It trickles down from the, from like the exotics and the supercars because it always takes that one manufacturer to set the bar yeah, and all really that stuff just kind of yeah, trickles down, slowly. down, down slowly. Yeah. And then you have your rivals. Camaro's going to yeah. try to beat the Mustang and so forth. And then Mopar's just doing whatever the fuck it wants to do. Mopar's just against everybody. Just angry little boats. Okay, so number three, dark windows. That's apparently another dangerous issue. Yes. Ten have you ever driven a car with a tinted windshield? Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. not. Have you ever sat in one? Mm -hmm. Try it. You can't see nothing. I've so. seen I've seen a car with a tinted windshield from the outside. Oh yeah. I'm looking yeah. in and I can't see shit. But so. try try sitting in one at night oh, when you're yeah. driving. With that five percent. Bad. Yeah. I've seen a couple. I don't have my tinted. So I mean, I, that makes sense. So, yeah, if you have your windshield tinted. But even, even like uh, side windows, because have you ever tried backing out of a parking space at night? You can't see anything unless you roll your windows down. I mean, you have a Camaro, so you can't see anything anyways. <laughs> but. If you try backing up with your I'm gonna leave. Because <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to see at night. So I mean, it looks this good. Is and get out of my we fear the sun, you know, getting hot and all that stuff. But good luck, everybody. It is what it is. It does. I think it does make a difference. But yeah, tinted windows is. Uh, it does make your visibility harder to see. Yeah, um, and like Max said, you know, you have to roll down your windows to look in your side mirrors. You have your cameras, of course, if your car's you know camera equip equipped. But uh, they only show so much. Yeah, yeah, there is a there's other kinds of tents you can get that do they don't restrict your visibility as much as the cheaper tents. So, um, but yeah, you know, one of our friends just got his 
his car tinted and he did the front windshield and the sides and you can't see nothing. One of our other friends drove his car right here. And he's like, I, I can't see anything. How do you see? You know, but it's the cool factor. So you're gonna look cool with your car all smoked out, but your visibility is uh, something else. Yeah. Which, so. So. Uh, one of the key points that, one of the perspectives that this article talked about when it came to the window tent was, you know, say you're driving and you're like on the right lane and you're trying to make a right into like a main street that's busy and there's a car here that's blocking your visibility to seeing if there's any oncoming traffic preventing you from making your right hand turn. If their windows are tinted, then it's even worse because you can't see. Yeah. You can't see past the car that's next to you. So I thought that was kind of interesting yeah. that they mentioned. They were talking that's about it from point. that perspective. And even on the freeway, sometimes, you know, you I, I look through people's windshields to see if someone's braking in front yeah. of them. Because that's how my dad taught me how to drive. He said, it's like, don't, like, pay attention to the car in front of you. But if you see the car in front of them braking, then get your foot over the brake. And then once they start braking, then you brake it. Just so, you, you know, you're prepared. So, not, I mean... It's LA, everybody's got window tint. I can't see nothing. I can't see nothing though. Say it. It's called defensive driving. It's in your handbook. Read it. Ooh. Is it? Yes. Bing. <laughs> Is it really? Is it? Yeah, of course. It's called defensive driving. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh shit. Learned that when I was 16. Well, I'm, I, I. Not, not specifically looking through the windshield, but paying attention to other cars instead of just the ones that but but the handbook is it like the, oh. like the, the how to drive handbook. Or yes, the, the DMV oh. handbook. Oh. I thought you were oh, the you I thought you were referencing the owner's manual. No, I know. It was like the DMV handbook. Oh. We're in I California. Oh, you're from Seattle. I, I, you're excused. I, I didn't. I didn't read Did you go to a driver's school though? No. See, I went to a driver's school. I got taught by professionals who didn't give us handbooks. <laughs> Did they took you through the drive-through. Hey, part of your learning. I want to give that guy a shout out too. The last day that we had to do our driver's test, he had, he made us go through the drive-through. That was our driver's test. Through the food drive-through? Yes, like Burger King. He was like, that's the most important thing. It is because you're in it every day. <laughs> exactly. <Right? laughs> I mean, I am. <laughs> AJ's not amused. <laughs> what the fuck What's the next uh, subject? <laughs> uh, the next one is just visibility overall because, like you guys said, if you sat in the Camaro, you can't see shit out the back of it. Even with the Mustangs, uh, you no. get a little bit more. Eh, I'll give you this. You get a little bit more, but you can't see as much as maybe like the Fiat. Oh, hell no. I'm going to say that. I can't yeah. see shit out the Fiat. Well, it's because you're too tall. I see everything. There's like so many windows and... Okay, this is coming for someone driving a Camaro though. Uh... <laughs> you know, like it's... Yeah, so the, so the visibility, um, you know, the way the cars are being designed, you know, more sleeker, you know, you, you, you know, uh, the back windows are a little bit smaller, the side windows, everything's more compact. And, and they are making cars. I mean, even though they are heavier and bigger, they're still making them look, try to make them look as sleek as possible. But then again, you lose visibility. So that's always uh, going to be an issue versus, you know, like driving an exotic where there is no visibility typically. But, you know, even, you know, cars like the Camaros, you know, they have poor visibility. Um, and the, the Mustangs, not so much. But, and then other cars, you know? I mean, yeah, it's, it's like, uh, like the Corvette. It's really hard to see out of. This is just a Chevy thing. I've never Even Cadillacs. What about modifications being added to the car? Oh, like louvers. That's a Mustang Louver, thing. A big wing. You know, I've like seen cars. some Camaros with louvers. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just stay copying Mustangs. That's all. But I think that plays an effect. I'm gonna cut now. Ugh. I didn't get a ding. No, we still have. Uh, <laughs> we still have some more. Ding. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's one more. There's one more. The last one is distraction, and it's not like. Your phone, it's all the like you connect and the flashy gauges and there's so many messages that you're getting from your car. So that's like the big one. It's just the distraction of the newer technology in your car. Not just your phone. Yeah. So it's stuff up here. Like, I don't know. Have you seen Teslas? They got like a freaking iPad yeah. and you can do Rainbow Road while you're driving and stuff. <laughs> like Some cars you can do it while you're driving, like the Mustang, at least my GT. Um, you can't sync your phone unless you're parked. Yeah. So if I want to sync a new phone, you can't do it. I don't know if other cars have the same features, but... But yeah, a lot of the cars, you have all the technology, you know, that comes with the car and, you know, even the navigation, even your drive modes, you know, you're setting your car. So you're constantly looking 
it's basically like a big information yeah. highway right there in front of your eyes yeah. where you're just looking at all your gauges and you know so yeah I'm sure it can get probably a little distracting you know but I, I don't think it's you know one of the things why people yeah, yeah I, I don't think it's dangerous I think cell phones and all that stuff is a lot yeah I agree with that I think passengers cell phones kids you know <laughs> that stuff like that is more dangerous than oh, okay. yeah yeah. yeah, food. Oops, I dropped a Cheeto, you know? <laughs> then you run into someone's car. Why is she laughing? She's laughing, she's because, laughing, because, she's laughing because it's relatable, dude. Oh. She drops french fries all the time. And I go like this, no! <laughs> she doesn't say, Danny, can you pick that up for me? She'll reach forward. over. <laughs> What's up, you guys? I hope you enjoyed that video. If you have any topics you want us to talk about, go over to the website, enginebase.com, and send us an email with a link, your name, so on and so forth. All the info is there for you to send us an email to. We'll go ahead and talk about that topic next time we make a video. Until then, we'll see you soon.